And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. What can Chelsea do from this position? And she's in a decent position. Opportunity it is. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Nagano. Now she could do a bit of damage. Pulled away by the keeper. A corner to Liverpool. They need to make it count. Oh, this looks useful. And Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, just look at this. That was so close to coming back into play. But it doesn't matter. They all count. Could be threatening and goes for goal goodness gracious me how about that for technique you can't strike them much better than that well here it is again and just look at this it's such good technique it's a wonderful strike from that range Katarina Macario. And she's being egged on by the crowd. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And there's the delivery. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. And there goes the final whistle. Not what Liverpool fans anywhere wanted to see. It's a defeat for them. Your assessment? 